A narrow warning for shoppers just days before Christmas. So one Pearland family got an unwelcome surprise after buying a popular holiday wish list item for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. They got home and ended up with nothing. They called KPRC2 investigator Amy Davis when they found out the retailer wouldn't make it right. Amy, go on here. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, okay, so this might not be ideal, but after seeing this story, you might be opening boxes before you leave the store to check inside. I contacted the news because I didn't want anybody else to be scammed from getting a present. Kelly Parrish wanted to warn holiday shoppers about what she found inside this box. It was supposed to be a brand new Apple Watch. Open it up and just was shocked to see the, the two batteries. They knew exactly what they were doing. They put the batteries in there so they knew the weight. They had cardboard in there. No watch at all inside that sealed box. Within one hour, Kelly's husband returned to the Pearland Walmart where he bought the nearly $500 watch. The manager said there was nothing they could do. It was just our fault and just going to be our battery. From that point on, it's been a back and forth between Walmart and Apple. So he would call Apple. Apple would call Walmart, try to talk to the manager. They just still just put their feet down. They won't do nothing. At one point, an Apple rep told Kelly it was Walmart dropping the ball. All they said all um, Walmart had to do was fill out a form and they would have got reimbursed for reimbursing us, but would not do it. Kelly's husband eventually just bought her another watch. One reason retailers don't like to talk publicly about these cases is because it's fraud. Here's how it works. A customer buys an item, carefully removes it from the box and replaces it with something of the same heft and weight and then returns it, even resealing the plastic wrap so store employees won't open it. Kelly said after seeing the new watch, she could tell the shrink wrapping on the first box was thicker. You can tell it's different looking at it now versus when it was actually closed. All right, so of course we contacted Apple and Walmart and gave them two weeks to respond. Apple never did. Walmart said they're dealing with the customer privately. So then Kelly tells us she did get a call last week, but all they did was ask for a serial number. Kelly also found out that that missing Apple Watch was activated months before she even bought it. So another sign that that was some type of return fraud. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously the chances seem to be small, but may maybe that is the best thing to do is literally open the box before you leave. Yeah. Before you leave the store, so you can go right up to the register. I mean, it, it stinks because if you're buying it for a gift, you don't want you want them to get a freshly, you know, plastic wrap and everything new uh -huh. gift, but. All right. Save you some it's our new reality. Right. This is what it is. Thanks. Amy, thank you.